Hi, my name is Caitlin Rippey. Um, this is my student, Veronica. She is 14. Um, she has actually been with me for almost a year now riding. Starting out on lessons, she will get the horse out first. Then she'll bring her into the cross ties. Um, and I let her handle all the care. She picks her feet out. She brushes her off, brushes her mane and tail, puts the saddle on and puts the bridle on and then takes her on up to the riding arena. So I teach them to come in and out of the stalls. This helps them learn how to put the halter and uh, kind of learn the basics about how to lead a horse in and out of the stall. And since my cross ties aren't turnaround cross ties, this teaches them how to put a horse in the cross ties to learn how to back them up, how to turn their head to turn how their butt turns. There you go. And once she has her in the cross size, she will begin to pick all four of her feet out. Um, this is a process that I teach them from the very first start. Um, it just, it learns how to connect with the horse a little bit better, seeing the horse trust them by picking up their feet in response. And when she's done picking her feet, she will come to my brush basket um, and then she'll begin to brush the horse off. Now she will grab the mane and tail brush and brush her mane and forelock. So each time I ask them to brush the mane and tail, um, it helps get out all the knots, any shavings, pieces, um, but most importantly, it just helps it to grow nice and pretty, especially when it's nice and long. Now she'll grab a saddle pad and begin to put it over her back. Now each of my riders um, at certain ages, they get to put this, learn how to put the saddle on by themselves. Remember, you always want that um, top piece to be over her withers, because if not, she won't be too happy. Uh, now she will grab the saddle. Um, I have taught each of my kids to put one of the stirrup leathers up over the horn, um, so that makes it easier for them to throw it over. Most of my kids, they talk about how heavy a saddle is, um, but I told them once they keep coming constantly, they will grow that strength to be able to pick up any kind of Western saddle and throw it over any horse, big or small. Once she gets the saddle adjusted and the pad in the right spots, she will begin to take the girth and cinch it up. I teach all these guys to, when they first put the saddle on and start cinching the girth, to not make it so tight um, because a horse will hold its breath until it gets to the um, riding ring and then they kind of let that air go out so they will have to tighten their saddle. Now once she gets that done, she will grab the breast collar and connect it to the other ring. The breast collar is important for these saddles because it helps these horses when they're moving that the saddle doesn't move backwards. Now she'll grab uh, split boots out of my basket to put them on the horse. Uh, the split boots are, are protected, that way they do not cause any damage to the tendons. After she has the horse saddled, the split boots on, make sure her bands are tightened. Just check them and if they feel tight, then go to the next one. All right, now once the bands are tight, um, she will walk over to my wall where my bits are. 
Um, each of my kids know what each bit they use for per horse. Um, so since Veronica has been riding this horse, she knows exactly what bit she needs to use. She knows exactly how to put it into this horse's mouth. Um, so she will start taking the halter off. Um, then she will stand next to her as she goes to put the bridle on. I teach all my kids to go slowly when you put the bit on. Um, you don't want to put the bit in super fast or the horse's jaw will basically cinch and they, it's very hard to get it in their mouth then because they panic. Once she has the bit in her mouth, she will make sure everything's adjusted, make sure her forelock is in right where it needs to be, make sure her earpiece is great and when everything is great she'll gather up her reins and we will begin to head out to the riding ring. At the beginning of the stage, I teach all my kids to walk on the correct side, which is the right side of the horse. Um, and they don't walk too close, but not too far away. They, they kind of walk right into that perfect position. Once they arrive into the riding arena, they will walk to the stool. Then once they get up to the stool, they will check the girth to see how well tight it is or how if it needs to be tightened, and then they'll tighten it. So after Veronica puts down the mounting block, she will check her girth. She will tighten it. Make sure it's nice and tight. All right, uh, you will probably have to adjust your stirrups. Yeah, just take them up one. All right, now go to that side and adjust those stirrups. All right, next she will grab her reins. Um, she will put them around the horse. And once that's, she will um, gather them up and then she will get on the horse. All right, all right, those stirrups good. All right, hold on one second. All right, so make sure your reins are even before we take off. Let's go up on that one. All right, so we're just going to walk in a circle down here because we're not gonna be in there. So just walk straight and we'll walk in a circle. So, and now that there's, you know, just kind of keep her focused on you. I have taught her how to sit correctly, how to hold her leg correctly, how to keep her arms, elbows, and shoulders back correctly, keeping their heels down will help them balance in their seat. Um, and having that nice and straight posture, it just makes it nice and pretty and it, it just helps them, you know, if a horse likes to test them, they're easy, they can sit there. And with this horse, we keep our hands down. So Veronica actually has them in a nice position, right where they need to be. Her reins are not too tight, they're not too loose, they're actually in a little perfect area. Good. Bend that elbow if you can just a touch. Good. And then look between her ears. Keep that eye straight and forward. Good. 
All right, if you want to stop, we'll turn and we'll go the other way. Good. As she turns, I teach everybody to look with your eyes. When you look with your eyes, your hips will follow and that will help the horse turn a lot better than just pulling the rein. Uh, we also use our legs to turn. All my horses know how to kind of command off of that leg. Good. Keep those eyes up. Good. Look for your corner. Good. If you can, bring this right leg back just a touch. Good. You don't want to get it too far forward, but you don't want to have it too far back. Use your legs. So now that she stopped right there, next time you come around, kind of think in your mind that I need to be a few steps ahead of her to make her go forward. All right, now be thinking, keep her forward, don't let her stop. Good. All right, if you want to pull her into me, we'll make her stop and we'll back. So remember, it's three steps that we need to back. Good, keep going, pull till her back. Keep pulling. Good. All right, let's come forward and we're going to try it again. It's okay if she don't. Make her back. Back. Tell her back. Pull. Tell her back. Good. Now come forward. And you can pet her and tell her good job. So this is one of my basic lessons. Um, in the beginning, they actually start off by walking and learning everything that you actually learned today. Um, but as time goes on, and the more you come, the more your lessons offer. Um, we actually will teach you how to flat walk, running walk, and even learn how to canter. You know, you can learn how to do equitation, or if you just want to simply just show in a normal class, we have that for you.